Kirkwood, Eastern Cape. Kirkwood is a town in the Eastern Cape province of South Africa. It is situated on the banks of the Sundays River in the eponymously named Sundays River Valley, which forms part of the Sundays River Valley Municipality in the Sarah Bartman District Municipality of the Eastern Cape. Geography and Climate Kirkwood is situated about 80 km 50 mi from the Indian Ocean and about 100 meters 330 ft above sea level. The South African Weather Service recorded a temperature of 50.3 deg C, 122.5 deg F in Kirkwood in 1928, the highest temperature ever recorded in South Africa. To the north of Kirkwood are the Reetberg Mountains with the Iaport U Gateway, which provides passage to the Zerberg Mountains and the Ado Elephant National Park. History The Governor of the Cape Colony, Sir John Francis Craydock, gave the first farms in the Sundays River Valley to the leaders of the successful Burger Commandos for their role in the victories in the Border Wars of 1811 and 1812. These farms were awarded to Magistrate Kyler originally from the United States of Uitich, who received Geelhout Boom Yellow Tree, later Dunbardy, Commandant Ignatius Muller, who received Claus Crawl Claus Corral, situated just outside what is now Kirkwood, and Field Cornet J. S. Van Niekerk, who received Gowerman's Ballooning Government's Room. It is on the latter farm that Kirkwood would be established many decades later. In 1877, James Summers Kirkwood, an auctioneer from Port Elizabeth, arrived to auction off Gowerman's Ballooning. When a flooded Sunday's river prevented Kirkwood from reaching this farm, he climbed a nearby hill known today, as the lookout instead. From there he had a view of the entire valley, and had a vision of the valley which was overgrown by bushes at the time being transformed into irrigated fields with fruit trees. He also envisioned this farm produce being delivered via river barges to Port Elizabeth. Shortly afterwards, James himself purchased Gowerman's ballooning as well as some other farms in the valley. He subsequently founded the Sundays River Land and Irrigation Company, as well as the village of Bavel. Later, Kirkwood started to prepare the land for irrigation, but despite of a very positive prospectus and very good publicity, nobody was interested in buying stock in his venture. One of the reasons may be that it coincided with the big diamond rush to Kimberley. In consequence, his company eventually failed and was declared bankrupt. Kirkwood died in 1889, a financially and spiritually broken man. However, Kirkwood can be considered to have been ahead of his time, as his vision became true in the next century when the Sunday's River Irrigation Project and eventually the Orange River Water Project were built. His name also lives on in the town of Kirkwood that was founded in 1912 on his first farm, Gowerman's Ballooning. At the beginning of the 19th century, the Sundays River formed the eastern border of the then Cape Colony and was the area around Kirkwood consequently the scene of many armed conflicts, Coy against Kossa, Coy and Kossa together against the Boers and British together, and finally the Boers against the British during the Second Anglo-Boer War. During this war, General Jan Smuts and his commando of 250 men passed through the valley on their epic campaign to the northwest. Indeed, the three Boers who died the furthest south during the war were killed on Cecil John Rhodes's farm Brackefontein. Shortly after these casualties were incurred, a major battle took place on the Bedricksfontein Mountain Pass. Economy Kirkwood's subtropical climate makes it ideal for the growing of citrus fruits, and this has made it the citrus capital of the Eastern Cape. Indeed, Kirkwood is the center of one of the largest citrus growing regions in South Africa with approximately 120 square kilometers 30,000 acres of citrus orchards. Approximately 18 million cartons of oranges, lemons, grapefruit, and other citrus fruit are exported from this region each year. The Sundays River Citrus Company employs approximately 1,500 people on a seasonal basis to pack the export citrus. There are pack houses in Kirkwood, Adele, and Somerville. Kirkwood is also the capital town of the Sundays River Valley Municipality, which also includes places such as Patterson, Adeau, and Anon, and has a total population of about 70,000 people. 
Roses are also grown in the area and there are several game farms situated nearby. The town also hosts an annual wildlife festival. A panoramic view of Kirkwood and the surrounding citrus groves is possible from the lookout in the Reedburg Mountains where Kirkwood had his vision. The lookout is also well known as a dinosaur fossil site. The first complete dinosaur fossil to be found in South Africa, nicknamed Kirky, was discovered near here. Kirky was smaller than two meters. Notable people who were born or lived in Kirkwood. Theo Aronson was a famous biographer of European royalty. He died in 2003. Kando Theo is a social commentator based in the Garden Route, a son to the former mayor Joseph Theo and a brother to the former mayor Empumililo Theo. He was student leader at then DS Petana Sex School between 1986 and 1990. Equals equals references equals equals equals.